guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am Natalie, and today we are watching Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. Thank you to all of my little golden nuggets who stick around and subscribe and watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. You guys are so awesome, and I love having you here. I love chatting with you in the comments down below about these movies. I love hearing your thoughts, especially because it always gives me a new insight into these stories and the way these films were made. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these videos and you've been clicking on them over and over and over again, but you're not subscribed, what are you doing? It's free. There's a little red button you can click down below. I would love to have you over here. Today we're watching a comedy. It has been a little while since I've watched just a pure straight comedy here on my channel. I think it has anyway. It feels like it's been a little while because we've been watching some stuff like Euphoria, Goodfellas, Mad Max, Daredevil, just a lot of really gruesome R-rated stuff, a lot of dramatic, intense stories. And I definitely enjoy doing that from time to time, but lately I have just been feeling the need for some good old fashioned fun, for something that maybe feels kind of lighthearted and dumb and funny. And uh, this movie has been on my list for a long time to check out. I have not seen it. I see that the cast is Ben Stiller, Jack Black, and Robert Downey Jr. I'm definitely excited to see Robert Downey in something that's not Iron Man. I know he's had an incredible career, but quite frankly, I'm really mostly just familiar with him as Iron Man, even though he's had a massive career before Iron Man. I haven't seen a lot of his work before that. So I'm excited to see him in a comedy in something completely different from Tony Stark. Jack Black, I of course am familiar with him from things like Kung Fu Panda, School of Rock. Uh, he's definitely an iconic figure in the comedy world. I'm excited to see him. Ben Stiller as well has done a lot, a lot of movies. I've seen him in a lot of things like Meet the Fockers and Night at the Museum. I've seen him in a lot of comedic films, so it's kind of hard to remember everything I've seen him in. Ben Stiller is actually one of those guys who <laughs> kind of scares me, if I'm being honest. <laughs> he kind of intimidates me. I feel like if I met him in real life, I would, I would genuinely be terrified. I don't know. Maybe that's just the impression that I get from the characters he plays. Maybe that's not how he is in real life. I don't know. I've never met him, but uh, he, he kind of freaks me out, so... <laughs> I'm interested to see him in this movie. I have also seen him in Zoolander. I completely forgot. I have seen that movie. That's a movie that Tyler quotes a lot. Like Tyler and his brothers love that movie. And they showed that movie to me years ago when Tyler and I were still relatively early on in our relationship, like maybe a couple years in our relationship. We've been together like seven years now. So to me, that's early on in our relationship. When we kind of first started dating, I remember he would show me movies that he was really into, like Zoolander. He showed me Fight Club years after that. Uh, he showed me Die Hard. He was the first person to show me Die Hard. And uh, luckily, he didn't show me other things that he quotes all the time, like Lord of the Rings. But I remember Zoolander being one of those things he would frequently quote, mainly the quote, uh, what is this, a house for ants, and just doing the blue steel look over and over and over again. Uh, so he definitely is a big fan of a lot of Ben Stiller films, and I'm interested to see what this one has in store because I know he's excited for me to check it out, but I don't really know much about it. I see briefly from renting it that the log line says it's about self-absorbed actors who want to make a war movie. So I'm expecting for there to be maybe some tropes in here that you would see in war films. I am familiar with some war films. Obviously, we've watched here on my channel, Saving Private Ryan. I'm also familiar with other war films that Tyler has shown me, like Apocalypse Now or Full Metal Jacket, both of which messed me up permanently for life. So I'll be curious to see if this movie kind of takes moments from those films and kind of tries to put a comedic spin on them, if it's like a parody in any way, or if it's just something completely unique, completely different. Definitely interested to see what they do with it. But with all that being said, guys, that's really all I have to say. I'm just excited to hop on into a comedy and have some fun with you all today. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. What a sharp open. Oh, it's an ad? Al Pacino. Booty sweat, popping ass open. Oh, is he a rapper named Al, pa Al Pacino? Oh, that's hilarious. In 2013, when the Earth's rotation came to a halt. What? 
It came to a halt. The world called on the one man who could- Oh, is this for his movie? Because he's an actor, right? When it happened again. When it happened again? And no one saw it coming. Three more times. Three more times. Oh my God. Oh my God. This generic trailer. I love it. It's different. This time it's an ice age. Who left the fridge open? There's two babies. Why is there always a baby? Wow. Oh my God. How many trailers are there? Will there be you? Anything else? Jack Black. More babies. Uh. Oh. Are these all Jack Black? Oh my God. Rose! You're just mad because I'm skinny. I'm not. No, yeah, you're just mad. Jeff Portnoy. Oh God, oh God. I don't think fart jokes are funny. Please, can we be done with that? Thank you. Oh my God. In a time where to be different. Robert, is he gonna be in a drama? Whoa, did they give him blue contacts? Holy <laughs> Those eyes are piercing. Is that Tobey Maguire? What is happening? Are they gay? Happy Pride. What is happening? One man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? The rosary beads. <laughs> okay, this is funny. And MTV Movie Award Best Kiss Winner. Best Kiss Winner, Toby McGuire! It is Toby. It was pretty. Oh, they're holding hands. <gasps> the waves crashing on the rocks. Satan's Alley. Satan's. Oh, come on now. Oh my god. Bad, bad boy, Father. I've been a bad Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, but for real, is this a DreamWorks movie? I'm confused. We have all of the film production logos in here. This is crazy. How did they, how did they do this? Do they just pay for the rights from all these companies or this can't be a DreamWorks movie? What is happening? <laughs> in the winter of 1969, an elite force of the US Army was sent on a top secret assignment in Southeast Vietnam. Oh, is it a Vietnam War movie? Of the 10 men sent, four returned. Of those four, three wrote books about what happened. Mm. Of those three. Two were published, but only one got a movie deal. <laughs> this is the story of the men who attempted to make that movie. This is the story of the people who didn't go to Nam, <laughs> but pretended that they did. It is a DreamWorks movie, okay, okay. Man, I gotta say, I don't know if this was actually filmed in Nam, but I've seen some gorgeous landscape shots and gorgeous massive caves in Vietnam that I have made me want to go there. What the f <laughs> Oh my God, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, ah! I say it's falling! Don't count him out! That bastard's got luck tattooed to his ass! Oh my God, the accent. Four Leaf is definitely Ben Stiller, huh? Four Leaf will be fine. What am I looking at? What is this? Stop! Ah! I don't want to see your organs anymore! God. It's Four Leaf. Four Leaf, he's coming. Here he comes. Oh no! Four Leaf, he's being shot! Oh no, he's gonna die. Oh no. <laughs> he's riddled with bullets. <laughs> he's riddled. He's just covered. Survive! Survive? How the f would he survive? Oh my god, enough, we get it. He's, he's literally traps. What's gonna happen here? Oh my god. Cover me, you little Cover me? He's dead, bro. <laughs> what is he? He's supposed to survive in this? He's just running towards the bullets. <laughs> the helicopter. <laughs> the helicopters. Oh what? my god. This is this is so ridiculous. He's dead, son. There's no way. Jack Black! No! Volleyball. Jack Black, what are you doing? Oh, look at that hair. Look at that hair. Oh, look at you, man. I'm playing with grenades. Is Robert Downey in blackface? What's happening? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, this is bad. This is horrible. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. I really didn't know what I was getting myself into with this one, huh? <laughs> his nubbins. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we cut? No See, countdown. No countdown. Can we okay, just do it off of action? Just in your own time. Good. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a rocket ship, okay? I'm not a rocket ship. He's a diva, huh? You right see how right. agitated he is now? I know. Let's let's make lemonade. Okay. I just can't get over the fact that Robert Downey is in black. I really had no clue. More bad news from the Vietnamese set of Tropic Thunder, where a $4 million explosion charred the Asian location. Yep, that would make me pissed if I was a producer. And 
you. You can't do what I do. Fresh from his most recent arrest. His most recent arrest! Man, we're just making fun of everybody in this movie, huh? Is famous for his total immersion into any role he portrays. Oh, being an actor is not different than being a rugby player. Oh, he is a method actor. I see. Total immersion. Pigmentation alteration procedure. <gasps> that one, they, were, they weren't contacts? Oh my god, it was permanent. It's not makeup? Once the highest grossing star in the world, lately his scorcher films have lost their heat. Oh, oh it's gonna piss him off. Tyra, Tyra's in the movie. Wrong side of 40, you're childless and alone. Somebody close to you said, one more flop and it's over. Wow, that's really cruel, Tyra. Damn. Somebody said they were close to me? No! Oh, he just, he's like, wait a minute, somebody likes me? Simple Jack, the story of a mentally impaired farmhand who can talk to animals, was a box office disaster that many critics called one of the worst movies of all time. Oh my. I think you've got a fine brain, Jack. You m -m 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 make me happy. Oh wow, oh wow. Is that the same actress from... <laughs> She looks really familiar. Like, she reminds me of the actress from Forrest Gump, but I can't remember who played that role. Jenny. Tom <laughs> Tuggernaut. It's the Packer. Matthew is in this movie. Okay. Is that his agent? Oh my God. They hook up the TiVo yet? Ah, uh, no. What? They have digital cable, but I mean, it's okay. No, no, no. Come on, man. It's not okay. It is not okay. This guy, it's funny. It's like this guy, maybe he's not a diva. It's like his agent is being a diva. I don't know. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, uh. Is this Tom? <laughs> what a star-studded cast, my God. The makeup on him is really good. I only recognize him because of his voice. Hit that director in the face really hard. Sorry, man. I'd be like, can you slap me? Can, it, can you slap me and not punch me? Spanking a child turns him into a little snot. <laughs> this guy is gonna give his two cents, the Vietnam vet. This nation owes you a huge debt. Now shut the f up and let me do my job. Wow. <laughs> you just spit the apple everywhere. It looks really cinematic. Oh, we're not gonna scare the actors? Can we scare the actors? I think that'd be funny. You drinking Patron, my dude? The herd loses its way. Oh, this guy. Look at him, he's camping on the beach. You must put those boys in the How do you put them in the You get some of those little videotype cameras. Ah. Take them up there and we put them in the trees. Yeah. Then you give me and the pyromaniac Cody all the smoke bombs, charges, explosives. You could kill them though. You could kill them. Put them in the real <laughs> With real fear in their eyes. Real. Yeah. And then get sued. I mean, I like this idea. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, that one guy with the glasses like looks scared all the time anyway. Oh. Cell phones. Nice. When those cell phones in 69, man, I'm hit to toe legit. <laughs> of course, of course he is. He's burning their phones or drowning them? For some reason I thought it was fuel. He's drowning their phones? That's f***ed up. You could have just confiscated a man. Let's go and make the greatest war movie ever. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh no, what about the radio? Oh, what there's that? Oh no. Oh no, there's actual people here. There's actual people here with guns. Oh no, this is so bad. Oh, I must be an old French mine. Oh my God, there's literal, mo yeah. He's messing with our heads. No. I don't know what that playing God stuff was about. No, oh my God, this is so bad. <laughs> No, they're really not. Oh no, 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 no. They're just dumb. They're dumb actors. How many more of these guys are gonna die? Prop head when I see one. It's corn syrup, guys. No, 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 don't touch it. <laughs> Warm, <coughs> blood flavored corn syrup. <coughs> Put it down. Oldest trick in the book. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop! Stop! I can't! I can't! I know it's a joke, but I have such a sensitive gag reflex. There ain't no goddamn takes. There ain't no goddamn motion picture. Why are you still in character? Because he doesn't ever leave character. Man, I don't drop character till I've done a DVD commentary. 
He just gets shot in the head. Did he just get shot in the head? He, I think he's fine. Uh, this feels pretty real. Yeah. Let's use it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But his gun is a prop gun, isn't it? It's a fake grenade, though. Big ass titties. Slow down, Piper. And cut. <laughs> oh my god. North man said to head north. He didn't high five him. You go work, baby. <laughs> no one will high five him either. Come on, man. Just a little taste. Are those drugs? What are you doing, Jeff? Nothing, man. It's jelly. I'm eating jelly beans. Oh, I love jelly beans. Can I please? No, you can't have any jelly beans. Why don't you just listen? You're an actor. Just be like, it's. I'm. <laughs> you killed the director. No, it's impossible, man. I mean, I rigged the whole tree line, and th this is here. I mean, that was just a real mine, yeah. You're not going to break. His arms. Are they fake? Does he have hands? Does he have hands? Is it an act? Damn. Everybody be posing up in here. The bat just stole his. No, 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 no. Yo, man, I gotta bust a nut. You go to hell! I bust a nut. You stick with the program, we get this movie in the can, thinking there could be a Teen Choice Award in it for you. A Teen Choice Award for this movie? Teen Choice Award? They'll slime you. Yeah, now you're dead. You You just gave yourself rabies, you psycho. I don't have any more jelly beans. <laughs> Oh my, this movie is crazy, man. I had no, oh no, oh no. Uh, I just have no words, I have no words. I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? Huh? What do you mean, you people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. What do you mean? Are you really gonna abandon this movie? We're supposed to be a unit. Suck my unit. Suck my unit. You know, when I said I was excited to see a different side of Robert Downey Jr., I really didn't think it was um, this side <laughs> for a whole movie. People thought it would come down to pixel rate or refresh rate, and they were pretty much the same. What it came down to was a combination of gamers and porn. Oh my God, I literally did not know. Wow, the glasses made such a difference. I had no idea that th this was, was Jay. I had no clue. He looks like a different person without the glasses. What the heck? You know, back before the war broke out, I was a saucier in San Antonio. I bet I could call up some of them green. Shut up, dude. Do some crawfish out the patty, yo. Shut up. That's how we all talk. We all talk like this, huh? Yes, sir. Huh? You're Australian. <laughs> Be Australian. Excuse me, Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I get excited about my foods, man. Shut up. Oh, fun. Little jungle rainstorm. He found little magazines for shelter. Did he have these with him? What? Oh, right, he has his phone. But where did the magazine stuff come from? Is he just watching a movie on his iPod? He's really just watching a movie on his iPod right now? This is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, what the f What is it? A gorilla? What? <laughs> what is it? A panda. It's a baby panda. You killed a panda. What the hell? Oh no, they're endangered, man. Where are we? I have no idea. Yeah, you, you're not even a war vet, huh? Dude, are you even in the service? Yes, of course. Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Sanitation! I wrote the book as a tribute. I'm a patriot. That's hilarious. What, nobody vetted this guy? Nobody... But I'm... Nobody made sure that his sources were accurate. That's kind of actually, that's very predictable. That would be the case for uh, film producers in Hollywood. They would just be like, great, it's IP, intellectual property. We're not gonna check the source that it's accurate at all. Oh my God, he's wearing the panda? Why are you doing that? Why? God, he's losing it. His phone's working. His phone is working. I killed one, Rick. The thing I love most in the world. A hooker, all right, you killed a hooker. No, no, a panda. Jesus Christ, Hug man, don't scare me like that. It's beautiful here. <laughs> it's beautiful here. He's lost it. I'm way beyond Devo. Last I checked, they had nooked it up though. Had nooked it up? <laughs> Last they checked. Hey, who, who's with you? You are still my client, Tug Speedman. I'm getting the Tivo. 
please don't fire me. Oh my God, he's not gonna fire you. That's hilarious. That's a really good part for Matt, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, he's like, oh, it's part of the movie. Scene 67. Ah! That's hilarious. He's still committed. I, I hope that a movie actually gets made from all this That would be funny. Ah! Yeah. He's acting. Wait, 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 let me do the line again. Let me do the line again. Good, good. Now let's do the torture scene. The torture scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Holy Oh, they found it. They're gonna have to bust their people out of there. Oh, yep, they're torturing him. Oh, Jesus. Kevin's the only one who's informed on where he went in the world. Damien, cut! Cut! He really thinks that these, this is a movie. This is so funny. He's so in it. At least he's clean now. Who's this little guy? Is that a child in charge? I am Tran. Hi, Tran. You are DEA scum! No, he's really not. Please don't hurt me! What's that look of realization? See that again. Don't hurt me. No, like you did before. Why? B -b 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 please d -d -d don't hurt me. Like the character Jack? Did he watch the movie? Bend on Jack. No f way. No, no, f no, no. They like that movie. Are they fans of the movie? Oh, oh no. Oh, they're fans of the movie? You are Simple Jack. You saw Simple Jack? <laughs> we love the tale of this man, Simple Jack. We, they love it. And Simple Jack is the only movie we possess. Really? That's such a shame. So are you going to let me go? Or... No! We hold you for ransom! Oh. Oh, fun. Well, at least they're smart. They're smart, at least. They know. What do you need, Peck? I'm more like, what do you need, Les? Did they, like, give Tom Cruise a fat suit for this? Like, what? He looks huge in this. I'm standing here with Les Grossman. And he is dying to tell you why he has apparently wiped his ass with the TiVo claws from you. That doesn't matter. We got bigger problems. Speedman is with us now. For 50 million, you will get him back. And let me tell you something, bird. I've never even heard of your little agency. Oh, no. It's not an agency thing, dude. I will massacre you. I will f*** you up. <laughs> They're scared. Did you uh, find out who that was? Can you find out who that was? <laughs> Can you find out who I just told to go f themselves? Oh my, Atlanta. Steeple check! Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, great, great. Why you gotta make me feel bad? Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> I really didn't know what I was getting myself into with this movie. We do it just like in the book. The book of Tropic Thunder. Yeah, did you guys read the book? No, Kevin's the only one who read the book. Because he's the only non-famous one, so he's the one that would prepare for the movie more than anybody. I mean, that's not really true, but like a lot of famous actors are really well prepared. But but it makes sense that he would care the most <laughs> about doing a good job. Alpenaz Oda, where on earth mama's natural not camo? Cool it, Benson. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I can't. I can't with this movie. Price now 100 million. You pay now. Or tomorrow, Simple Jack dies. Oh, wait. I got a better idea. No, Les. Don't do it, Les. No. How about I send you a hobo's cheese? Then you kill him. Do your thing. Skin the bastard. Go to town, man. No! That is really, really bad. Oh, God. They're gonna kill him. And I'm talking way, way down the road. We file an insurance claim. Actually, the claim alone would net us more than we would lose. Wow. That's horrible. You want me. Let my client of 15 years, one of my best friends, die. I bet he's gonna say, great, that sounds great, I'll do that. A G5 airplane. Yes. <laughs> no, he's still thinking about it, okay. I just got caught up in- And being a dumbass? Mm-hmm. Why are you still doing this chicken George I have yeah. no idea. Neither do I. It's beyond me. Neither do I. You confused. I am a little confused. I know. <laughs> but are we cool? Not really. Yeah, I, yeah, no. <laughs> so no for me right now. That's hilarious. Is he gonna want to stay because they're valuing him more than he's valued in America? It's a little twig man. Oh, it's a little toy made for him? I'm going to call you Half Squad. Oh, okay. And you can call me Papa. What are we, are you adopting him now? Are you, 
You gonna steal this kid? Because he didn't want to adopt a kid. Oh, maybe he won't give up on his client. Maybe he will try to save him. He's thinking about it though. He's really thinking hard. G5 owner. I like that that book was called G5 owner. Listen, it's a bad investment to own a, a jet. Loses value immediately. Voila! Wait a Look in here, ya don't ask. Oh my god. That's hilarious. He's pretty good at the foreign language. Twingini, twingini. Charlie Chesson. Respect to you, tiny ant king. Tiny ant king. Stop watching them. Oh my god, they're all distracted. That's hilarious. What are you guys doing here? He has hands. He has hands. I got enough here to light this place up like it's the 4th of July. Well, you got with the program real quick. Wait, don't know, Kenny. His poppy field, oh. Dunky dunk. Yeah, he said the wrong thing. I had to see. Where is your farm? American! Guys, somebody do something. Here's my mother farm. But these aren't real guns. They don't have real guns. Get, what are you doing? Yeah! Oh, he did have a gun in there. Is that a real gun? I'm confused. It can't be real. Show me where the are. Oh my God. Oh no. Don't judge me! He's got a real serious problem. Yeah, he does. He does have a problem. Gotcha. Oh, he probably doesn't even want to leave. But I'm doing five shows oh, a day. Bro. Look, look at this little kid. I already am home. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my God, you crushed the kid. Is he dead? Did you crush him? Uh-oh, he found it. Oh no. I know who I am. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. You a dude that don't know what dude he is. Or are you a dude who has no idea what dude he is and claims to know what dude he is? Well, this is really meta. I'm scared of you. Oh my God. Now he's having a, a psychotic break. Uh, not Sergeant Lincoln Luther. Uh huh? Finally, my God. Can we get the f out of here? Oh, those were just contacts. I think I might be nobody. So it's just the skin was the pigmentation, the I guess. Security level with you guys is ridiculous. Yeah. Can we just go? We need you. Your men need you. Are you with us? I'm a rooster illusion. What? F it. I'll deal with it. That's great. All right. Great. I just, <laughs> just move. I'm a rooster illusion. Oh, the kid's back. Oh, he's got a bazooka. Oh, no. Look at him. He looks pissed. He big mad. Or Kevin, my, why did I think his name was Zach? I am moving to catering after this. I am moving to catering. Kevin, Kevin can't die. Kevin is like the only one who had it together. Are you kidding me? Kevin. Oh my God, it's real now. It's all real, they're in the Wow, I really hope they're getting all this on tape. This is great. He's got to hurdle the fire, but you can just run around it. Please, you got the blue bridge, come on. You don't have to. You don't have to, I'm staying. I have a son now, little half squat. Who in Crocky <laughs> I love that his Australian accent is out now. This is great. You tell the world what happened here. What happened here? I don't know, but you need to tell them. I don't know, but you tell them. I got this. This is so... He's, what if he gets shot? What if he gets shot? He's being riddled with bullets, huh? I was wrong! I was wrong! The kid is stabbing him! Look at it! Look at the shot! Run fast, bro! Run fast! This is great. Oh my god. The kid stabbing him in the back. Oh no. Tug? Come on, Tug. Where are you? The kid. It's over! No, he's gotta be fine. Look, he's gonna have his moment. Look, Leaf. There he is. There he is. Yep, we're repeating it. Yep, he's fine. He's good. Hurry up, man. Someone's gotta help him. He can't be dead. Come on. No. Cover me! Cover me! This is great. We can't. You don't have guns. Back in this. I got it. What? What's happening? The, he got the team. <laughs> Throw the TiVo. Block the bazooka. Yes. 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 But what about Tug? Or not Tug, what about him? Whatever his name is, the agent, Matthew McConaughey. Is he just abandoned here now? Just gonna, I guess he's gonna go out the way he came in. My God, he saved his life. 
Is he gonna get an Oscar? Oh. Yes. Tut Speedman. Oh, look at all the celebs in the crowd. Saw Jason Bateman. Oh, he got the G5 and then used it to rescue. He used the G5 to rescue his client. That's great. Best of both worlds. Oh my God. This movie was unhinged. This was, this was, this was a lot. Oh, wow. Um, man, have the times changed. <laughs> it was a wild ride. I'm literally stunned, truthfully. Like, there are some movies that I've watched here on my channel, guys, where like, I don't, I feel a little bit shocked at the end or don't know what to say. Uh, this, this, I'm, <laughs> I feel speechless. I genuinely don't, <laughs> I'm, sh I'm shocked. I'm stunned. Uh, it was definitely funny, but a lot of, <laughs> a lot of it was just so much. Oh my God. I feel like I was not prepared. I had no clue about any anything that was gonna take place. I just saw the log line, like, oh, it's a bunch of self-absorbed actors making a war movie. There was a, a lot going on in this movie. <laughs> Definitely a pretty star-studded cast. A lot of mega famous people, some who are even more famous now than when they were in this movie. I had no clue people like Tom Cruise were gonna be in this movie, I, I had no clue. The makeup on him was, it was great. No clue Matthew McConaughey was in it either. I mean, just, it was a very fun cast. I think the acting was great from everybody, but oh my lanta, it was, wow. I was just stunned for most of the movie. It wasn't <laughs> exactly my cup of tea, if I'm being honest, <laughs> in terms of comedy. Um, I can see, I do agree, like that from a comedic standpoint, there, there's a lot to it that's really well done and smart and funny, but I don't know if it's my cup of tea. But to be fair, the poll that I put on Patreon for this comedic, I did a comedic poll because I wanted to watch something funny. I really put a wide variety of comedies on the list for this poll. It was really a crapshoot with whatever one. Um, I, I, I wasn't familiar with any of them, so. Uh, yeah, I was just kind of trying to go into this experience as blind as possible. And I think I succeeded at that. I'm at least, <laughs> I was gonna say happy to say I've seen it now. I don't know if I am. I feel a little scarred right now. <laughs> I'm grateful that I've seen it and I'm at least familiar with it. I think every time I watch a new movie, it's nice to have a more clear understanding for something that was a part of pop culture, even if it was 10 plus years ago, um, especially in respect to these actors. It was an experience, to say the least. It was a very jarring experience. I'm so sorry that I don't have a lot of commentary on this one, guys. I genuinely am just shocked and like kind of left speechless. <laughs> I think from you know the perspective of at least working in the film industry for a little bit before watching this movie is funny to watch it from that lens because you know Tom Cruise's character like yeah he swears a lot and was like kind of over the top but like I have met producers who really do scare people like that and who kind of look a little bit like that and act a little bit like that and that did feel like a very believable figure for me and uh, the whole idea of like them not vetting this guy who wrote this book this war veteran who really wasn't even a Vietnam War vet, that was very believable as well. I feel like you see dumb stuff like that happen with people who make movies all the time because a lot of people just don't go through the proper sources or they don't vet stuff and they're just like, oh yeah, like this movie, it's gonna be an Oscar winner, man. Like a lot of people are just attracted by flashy things and just wanna talk themselves up and make cool stuff and then try to like make money off of it. They, they don't really do a lot of the research working with certain people. So that, that also was kind of believable to me, I was like, yep, I could see that happening. So it was funny from that perspective, for sure. And also all the lead actors just being hella insecure and ridiculous. And the only person who's like not insecure and has a good head on his shoulders is Kevin, who is like this new actor who just is excited to be in this movie and taking his job really seriously. And he prepared in all these ways that nobody else did. Yeah, from that perspective, it was really funny. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna put this one away. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever uh, need to revisit this one again. Thanks for suggesting this one. If you suggested it. This is why we do variety here on my channel. It's always good to familiarize yourself with all kinds of stories. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this movie. 
If you did enjoy this reaction, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you think about this movie. Subscribe if you want to, and until the next one, stay golden. Bye.